I'm Tamsin, you are author of Gideon the Ninth, and I'm part of Team Magic Times Mayhem. Follow the chaos and join our damn it. You know, I'm not one of these authors who's like, I just let the characters take me to where they want to go. They go where I damn well put them. Um, Hi, I'm Tamsin. Yeah. None pizza, left meat, lesbians, denial of theatre, that's what I'm bringing to the table. Mercer Morn, just, she just blows. Um, I, I love her so much. She's such love. a good fireman. I mean, she wouldn't though. Like, she just want the outfit, and she wouldn't even want the outfit because it like, covers your biceps. From Yardley's point of view, this is just sex. She's getting down and dirty in the most appallingly necromantic way. Really like that sisterly relationship. Sisterly relationship. Sisterly relationship. Hmm. And I was like, oh no, it's gay. <laughs> Hera, when she's thinking of herself, is not how she talks. Mm. Um, the Harrow is so measured, Harrow uh, is so careful. And then in her head, she's just like, God, I hate you so much. There's a hell of a lot of reference to Greek mythology, to Homer, to the Iliad. Um, and then you come across a Llamas with Hats reference. And it's not because I set about to make the book particularly meme it's just because I've got a shit sense of humor. Man, last year, blue. I've started getting grey hairs, but actually I'm really excited about that because my one goal is to be a silver fox. Yeah. Everything is different all over again. And terrible. And Ianthe will be awful. Ianthe will reach new heights of being absolutely goddamn dreadful. <laughs> Alright, now do a little dance. <laughs>